Okay, so, uh, and so, Dark Mind was defeated, and his dream of conquering the Mirror World was shattered. Okay. Now, at last, peace will return to the Mirror World. Okay, that's cool. Shadow Kirby, but they remain on guard. After all, who knows when another evil might arise. Is this like the only Kirby game that didn't have King DDD in it somewhere? Don't worry, though. Okay. Mirror World Kirby will be there to keep them all safe. Why is he Mirror World Kirby now? Why not just Shadow Kirby? I don't understand. Mirror time! And I guess this is just when everyone leaves. And he's all waving by. He's like, yeah, come again sometime if you feel like braving the land of evil or something. Yeah. There. And cling! Or that fun mirror sound effect. <laughs> okay, they're gone. Stop waving. Thank you. I swear. We're far from done, though. Cause, oh, Meta and I got... Is, is he... Did, oh, fucking, he, he lost his sword. Oh, goody. He would leave his sword behind. He would. The end! Fancy smancy sword. Stars! Lots of stars. Um, okay. Hi. Bye. I still have a bubble, jeez. It occurs to me, I think there's some kind of story... extra cutscene demo thing you can watch here that lets you know why Kirby was... There, why there are four Kirbys and... Oh, this might be it. High above the skies of Dreamland, the mirror world needs help. Oh no. Oh, fucking evil face. A shadowy figure is unleashing chaos on the peaceful world. Oh no. Meta Knight! Meta Knight flies into the mirror world to protect Dreamland. Um, okay, dude. However... Grass! Oh... Oh. He just randomly pops out of nowhere and is like, I'm slashing you, and oh fucking, there are four Kirbys. <laughs> well, that was like incredibly random. And they're like, oh look, a star, let's hop on. Let's go kill that guy because he turned us, he, he knows the secret to cloning. We need to steal that secret from him, so there. And that's, okay, that's how it started. 63%, my god, we still have to get a shitload of shit. Yay, ooh. Chalk, that's fun. Kirby sounds. Would those be like sound effects? Beginning notes. Enemy sounds. Oh my god, wow, there's a lot of stuff I gotta find still. Well, let's try those other two mini games. Or, actually. Yeah, let's let's just play mini games. So there, when you see. Mm, quickly press A. Haha. -ha. I'm warning you right now, I think sometimes bombs will appear there, so... Don't eat the bombs. Clearly, that should be obvious, but... Ha 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 ha, I'm a fat ass. Go me. Okay, crackety hack. Press A to power up and aim for the thing and press A, fine. Uh, fucking. Oh, I messed up there. I failed big time. Yeah, <laughs> I failed. Red Kirby looks a little off. I think the palettes got fucked up again. Oh well. I don't think we care, do we? No, we don't, so... Okay, we're going back to this. And look! You can use the sword wherever you damn well please now. Isn't it fun? I know, right? Hey, you can kind of like float down. If you keep doing that. Wee! <laughs> I swear. 
Okay. Well, clearly... Okay, now, one thing I do remember... If you're trying to find all the, like, chest and stuff you missed. See the flashing rooms. Or, like, the brighter rooms. Well, clearly one's in orange you haven't been to. But if you see one that's yellow that's not flashing, like, look, the one right there in the exact middle of the screen that says, Go to Area 3. It's not flashing. I'm, it's, you know, it's, like, yellowy white. It's not flashing, though. That means there's probably a chest there that we missed or some other type of thing. That we gotta get, so. And I think I'm gonna explore Peppermint Palace just because I fucking fucking can. So, there. Ooh, what is the. Y y y y oh, wow, I forgot Peppermint Palace. I didn't like that much. I get so hopelessly lost here, it's not even funny. In fact, come to think of it, you know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna fucking do. If I remember where it is I gotta go to do it. Think was here? Right? There we go. Alright. This is like the beginning of Peppermint Palace right here. The real beginning of it. I skipped like all of it. I went to just like the cavern part of it. When I was trying to find the boss and all that stuff. Ooh, look, batteries. Ha ha ha! Fucking on a G's. <laughs> okay, I don't guess there's a point to do that, so... Let us continue our grand quest. Yeah, you want me to slip on the banana peel? I know, fucking, and I did anyway, I swear. I saw it there too, I saw it, but I just, I couldn't stop myself. It's just, it's like one of those bad cartoons, you know, the... With a, like, I don't know. Let's take Tom and Jerry. Tom sees, like, some random nail sticking out of the floor that Jerry placed there. And he sees it, like, 20 feet in front of him. He has quite a bit of time to sit there and, like, stop or something. But he doesn't. He keeps going. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm so fucked. And then he steps on it and he howls in pain. And then everybody's like, seriously, you just did that, dude. I swear. Um, oh, whoa, we kind of lag there. What the hell? And you know what? I'm not finding any chests, my god. I am failing! I'm pretty sure at some point you get, uh, fucking, what's it called? Oh, jeez. You get something called, ooh, big chest. I got a map! But yeah, at some point you're gonna get a fucking, what's it called? In the sub-game, mini-game area section or whatever. You can... Get like a boss rush. Kind of like the the arena in Kirby Superstar. As in like, you know, you have kind of like, you can keep stopping off in safe rooms and stuff. And all that cool shit and get healing and other power-ups. In between fights. I like the boss rushes in like, uh... Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland and Kirby's Dreamland 3. Where it's just you going against all of them in a row without any healing or anything. Or powers or whatever. So... Yeah. Warning you in advance. Ow. Ow. Fucking on a G's. Why? So there. Slicing your- ooh, batteries. Slicing your everything. Yay, slicing your everything. Can we go down here? Oh, fucking on a G's. No, we can't. That's great. Fucking on a fuck fuck. Yeah, there- there, dude. Enjoy your salmonella. Or something. Wow. How about I ignore both? I'm going this way. See where this takes me. Okay, have I been in any rooms that... Well, the last couple I've been in have chest in them, apparently. That's great. Ah, <sighs> swear. This game kind of reminds me of, like, the Great Cave Offensive from Kirby Superstar, but on, like, a greater scale. So. Can't, this sword can be used on all puzzles, which means it can set stuff on fire, it can break blocks, it can do everything. So if you haven't found all the chest and stuff, then... Now you can use this and make things so much easier on yourself. So there. Either go to a goal or go to area 9. You know what? We're gonna go to a goal. 
because I'm kind of done, so, yeah. Any chest in here? Yes, that that's not flashing great. Now I'm gonna have to hunt for hours just to find this one fucking, ooh, batteries. This one fucking thing. Clearly not, ooh, I should probably go down there. I'm gonna check that place out. I'm gonna check it out hard, because we do everything hard. Ah! Is that the only chest here? Yes, it is. Nice. I kind of want that tasty tonic, but I don't really exactly need it that much, so there. That's, that's fine, I guess. This is just like a bunch of giant ice blocks all stuck together. It's fun, kind of. It looks kind of fun here. I like it. I like the artistic style -ness -ness. Please tell me we're not about to fight like a mini-boss. We always seem to fight one of those right before getting to a goal. It bothers me greatly, I'm just saying. Fucking on a G's. There, dude. Ah ha ha ha. There's no chest here, that's good, that's great. Now choose your path to fate. Ignoring the cherry, because Mary doesn't have a cherry. And okay, batteries. Tasty tonic, batteries, cherry. Yay. Ow. Batteries. Batteries. So there, good sirs and or madams. We are just that epic. I know. It's amazing. How do you have a fucking UFO? You're not allowed to have UFO in main area. Why do you have UFO in main area? I don't comprehend. Ah, uh, well, the other three Kirbys can break the game as much as they want, but real Kirby? No, he has to abide by the fucking, fucking rules, I swear. I just, I just, no, Kirby, you need to be a bad boy sometimes. So, yeah. Well, you kind of were in Kirby Squeaks wide. You're just like, oh no, someone stole my cake. I better go beat the shit out of King Dedede and get my cake back, even though he probably wasn't the one who stole it anyway.